all right my name is agf welcome to do you know agf in today's video we'll be treating was was chemistry 2019 theory questions we'll treat part a of that very so yeah so i would like you to watch to see how far we can go with this very question so pay rapt attention and uh, if you are new to this very channel we've been creating videos to help wife students and many students like that if you would like to get videos on many top or many topics or many subjects we've created videos on biology on physics on mathematics so if you would like to get videos on many subjects so that you can pay well for your exams you can just click the red subscribe button and the main thing click the notification bell it's this notification bell that would help you to us to get our videos immediately when we upload them and be prepared for, for exams this very year question number one state the conditions necessary for the cracking of long chain hydrocarbons to produce more gasoline. If you are talking about this very word, this very cracking, just like you can see here, the cracking means what? Cracking is actually the second word, the second process of refining our what? Our petroleum. I'm talking about the refining of what? Of crude oil. I told you it is the second process. We have fractional distillation before what? Before what? Before cracking. We have cracking and then um, also have what? We also have reforming so just note that and uh, that's that means that what the process of refining our crude oil takes place by what by three medium we have the fractional insulation we have the cracking and we have the what reforming so after we've known that the next thing we should understand now is what is this very cracking itself i'm talking about cracking cracking is a what is a process whereby you break down uh, large molecules these large molecules would have what would have high boiling point you break them down into what into uh, smaller molecules with what low boiling point that's just it now to understand the necessary conditions we must talk about what we must talk about the types of what of cracking we have what thermal cracking and we have what catalytic cracking just like you can see on the screen when i'm talking about thermal cracking it's still the same thing as steam cracking and this very thermal cracking i want to tell you that what it involves temperature that's thermal cracking when i'm talking about catalytic cracking just what with that very name you should understand that what it involves catalyst and uh, uh, okay it involves catalyst but it also involves temperature so just note that with this you should understand that generally when we're talking about the conditions necessary for cracking you should know that what we'll talk about it too so that's what that's the catalyst and the what and the temperature so anytime you are writing things like that down you write number one temperature number two also what catalyst Question number 1b. State two reasons why metallic objects are electropated. If you actually want to talk about the reasons why metallic objects are electropated, we must actually know what we mean by electropate. Now, what do we mean by electropate? Electropate means to coat something with thin layer of melters by using electrolysis. For example, what you, the, the, what the picture you can see on the screen right now gives us the, what, the clear the clear what the clear expression of that very thing you can actually see that what this is what this is an electrolytic cell it is what it is through the process of electrolysis and just like the metallic object we are given in this very question you can actually see a metallic spoon here now this very copper plate will be used to coat the what the metallic spoon now this will lead us to the reasons why we what why we actually electroplate things number one is for us to prevent rusting if you actually electropate a metal, you know that what it is to pre prevent that very melter from what from rusting. Number two is is for what is for that very thing to be what to be du durable. If you actually coat that very thing, and uh, you will see that what it would serve more. It will, it, it will use a longer time, a longer it, it will be used for a longer period of time than that very uh, melter that you've not electropated. And you know, I I, I, I expect you to know that what it's what it uh, it actually changes the appearance of things. If you actually electropate a metal, you see that what it will be shiny. It is used for a lot of things. Some people will use it for decoration, some people use it just to what to improve. It, it does know that what it is used to improve the quality of that very melter. Question number one C. Explain briefly why calcium oxide cannot be used to dry hydrogen chloride gas. Now talking about this very calcium oxide, explain to know that what is a basic it's a basic what it's it's a base it's a base it's basic do you understand now cannot use the word to dry hydrogen chloride gas 
actually this is where the hydrochloric chloride you know that what is an acid right it's an acid so now do you understand that we actually uh, we actually the reaction between uh, base and what an acid what do we call it the the reaction between base and acid to form salt any any reaction between base and acid with what will form salt and water just know that but i want you to tell me the what the name of that very reaction in the comment section because this would, could help you what is the reaction between base and water uh base and uh, base and acid to form salt and water what is the name so tell me in the comment section so it is obvious that if it can form salt and water that is the what this very uh the end product is not what is not dry just like you can see here cannot be used briefly white calcium oxide cannot be used to dry and uh, it has actually formed salt and water is it dry or not so it's not dry now we are talking about the drying agents of hydrochloric gas that's what that's sulfuric acid we have what we have h2so4 the conk h2so4 please note that concerning the people that was that actually use that very community tab where i asked questions i asked questions that uh, number one would you like to what would you would, would you like past questions to be solved on this very channel would you like us to what, to treat weaknesses and remedies just like we treated in what in our bi biology practical would you like us to what, to just treat random tutorials i've seen responses of people so if you would like also to what, to talk on this on this very channel what do you really uh, what would you really like us to do so that we can help you to prepare well for your exams do you actually need random tutorials do you actually need past questions you can tell me in the comment section or you should go to that very community tab and what and tell me a day that what this is what we need this is what we need you can just click it so that you would that you, 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 like you would see it yourself so the percentage of those people that were that chose uh um uh, what would i call it the first one because people are people have already what is participating in that world in that very pool you can just see that people and what and pick your own also out of the theory so that we can actually see uh, we can actually know what you people need and we'll be able to, uh, to make videos on that very particular topic i'm sorry would have to post this very video uh, very video late but i know that it will still up someone to pass its exams this very year i expect you to have revised to have prepared and all that i pray you have success in that very examination please don't forget to what don't forget to include god and i tell you god would actually help you to pass that very exams excellently i actually wanted to do a lot of videos for chemistry but i couldn't do it but for your other subjects i will try my best on that maybe a remedy and all that but i will i will use the community tab to know the the things that you would need maybe prior past questions maybe uh maybe this very remedy uh, we, uh, weaknesses or the third one that is a uh, random tutorials please you do well to use the community tab or tell me in the comment section what you would need and if you've not subscribed please click the red subscribe button and the notification bell i thank you all because i reached uh 1k subscriber uh, subscribers uh, last week I thank you for your for your support. I promise to make more videos that would help you in this very time. Now, for other past questions I solved on other topics, you can click the card you can see on the screen right now. If you've not subscribed, please click the red subscribe button and also click the notification bell. Don't also forget to invite your friends. On this positive note, I I end this very video.